What's up, family? Man, um, you know I love the movie Lion King, um, both versions of it, you know, the original Lion King as well as the last one that just came out, the computer, digital, whatever it is, you know. I'm not tech savvy in that regard, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, I love the Lion King. There are so many different messages in both of those movies, you know what I mean? Um, I like the first one for certain reasons. I like the um, second one for other reasons. You know what I mean? Stay with me. We're going to go somewhere. Family, I say this all the time. We have to grow up. We have to grow up emotionally. We have to grow up intellectually. We have to grow up spiritually. You know what I mean? If you holding on to the old stuff, you know what I mean? We have to learn to let that stuff go. You know, you hear me talking about shadow work all the time. You hear me talking about, man, doing the work. We have to grow up. The reason why I love Lion King, you know, um, especially the second, um, the last version of the Lion King that came out, the one where I think Beyonce was playing Nala, um, or she was doing the voice makeover family in this movie Scar the uncle who talked Simba into doing whatever it was that he did and then talked him into running away and all this other stupid stuff to get rid of him the great majority of us were Scar the great majority of us, we play the role Scar. We live the role Scar in our daily lives. The great majority of us, that's who we are. Most of us will say, man, no, I'm Simba, I'm Nala, you know, I'm Rafiki. I'm all the big guys, you know what I mean? I'm all the good people, you know what I mean? I'm... Simba's dad, you know what I mean? We're all the big guys, you know what I mean? Nobody wants to be scarred. Nobody wants to be the bad guy. You know what I mean? And yet, that is who the great majority of us are. It is what it is. In the last version of The Lion King, it talks about, Scar talks about how he became who he is. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. He talked about losing Nala's mom. You know, and he talked about all the stuff that he went through. And that's what's made him scarred. Stay with me. Family, I don't care what you've gone through. And I say that a lot. And I'm not trying to be mean or anything of that. I'm not being dismissive of the pain and suffering you've gone through. I'm not being dismissive of the trauma that you're dealing with. The reality is we've all been through things. We all have been traumatized by something. You know what I mean? We all carry scars. Just because we carry a scar does not mean that we have to live our life scarred. Stay with me. Just because you carry a scar, just because you've gone through some things and you have the, the scar to show for it, doesn't mean that your mind, doesn't mean that your emotion, doesn't mean that your spiritual being has to be scarred. That is a choice. You can choose to act like a scarred victim. You can choose to be bitter, angry, untrusting, unforgiving, blah, 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 blah. You choose to be that way. We've all gone through things. At some point, you're going to have to learn, if you're going to talk about growth and development, you're going to have to learn to let that go. You're going to have to learn to become forgiving. You're going to have to learn to, you know what? Man, holding on to this is no longer in my best interest. Holding on to this will not allow me to grow and develop as I choose. You can't hold on to drama. You can't hold on to trauma and grow at the same time. You can't hold on to trauma and drama and reach your full potential. You can't hold on to trauma and drama, all the crap from your past, and still talk about you're moving forward in the future. Still talking about you're moving on to on your journey, moving forward. 
Either you're going to be stuck in the past or you're going to let that crap go and move forward. You can't do either or. You cannot hold on to the past and move into the future. I'm going to say that again. You cannot hold on to the past and move into the future. You cannot hold on to the past and become your greatest version of yourself. Become the best version of yourself. The scars are to remind us of all the successes we've had. I'm going to say that again. So many of us, we look at scars as men, as pain and suffering. We look at scars as something bad, as a memory of something bad. We look at our scars as a memory of something that I lost, as a memory of something that's hurt me. When we should look at our scars as, man, I've overcome this. I survived this. I've moved beyond this. Again, I talk all the time about changing our perspective. Changing how we see things. Same event. Same situation. The only thing that changes is how I see the scar. I still have the scar. I have scars all over my body. I still have the scars. But instead, instead of seeing them as a painful event, instead of seeing them as a memory of something bad that's happened, instead of seeing them as something um, that caused me a lot of pain and suffering and whoop de whoop de whoop that holds me stuck in the past, man, I see those scars, I see those marks as, man, I made it through. This is my reminder of what I survived. This is my reminder of what I made through, what I've gone through. I'm proud of myself that I survived this. I'm proud of myself that I'm no longer stuck in this situation, that I'm no longer stuck in this traumatic event. I'm no longer stuck in the pain of the hail hole that I just went through. It's a choice. It's a choice. A couple of days ago, I, I made a video um, about my late wife who had stretch marks. And, and that traumatized her. You know, she has stretch marks due to having babies. You know, three sons. And that traumatized her. That messed her up emotionally. Stay with me. And that was a choice for her. That was a choice for her. And instead of seeing those stretch marks as a traumatic event, as something that sucked, as something that was disfigured her or all any of that other stuff, she could have saw those stretch marks as, man, these are reminders of the fact that look at what I brought birth. Look at what I birthed into this world. Look at what I went through. Look at what I delivered into the world. Look at what I gave the world. Through eight months, nine months of, of changing, of my body changing, I brought something forth. I did something. We have to learn how to relook at our lives. We have to learn how to relook at the same situations. And see it in a positive light. As long as you see it as a negative thing, as long as you see it as something bad, it's going to always be bad to you. It's going to always hurt you. It's going to always break you down. It's going to always make you suffer. It's going to always trigger you. Because you keep seeing it in a bad light. And what I mean bad light, you keep seeing it through the wrong perspective. You keep seeing it through the wrong lenses. And so every time you get triggered over something, that's God's way of showing you, hey, your perspective is off. Hey, you're missing the point. Hey, you might need to relook at this. Hey, you might need to change your way of thinking concerning this situation.
because you have a victim mentality. There's nothing wrong with having scars. Allow those scars to be your badge of honor. Carry those scars like you wear a purple heart. You know what I mean? Man, or you would wear a silver heart for the military personnel. You know what I mean? Wear those scars like they're a badge of honor. Because everybody didn't survive what you went through. And the fact that you're still here, man, you survived that. You made it through. Physically. Now you have to make it through emotionally. Now you have to make it through spiritually. Now you have to make it through intellectually. I don't care what you've gone through. I don't care what you're going through. Flip it. Flip it. Change it. Change it to make it work for you. Instead of working against you. Change it to see it as an honor. Instead of a dishonor. It don't matter what it is. I don't care if you just did 20 years in the penitentiary. Man, everybody didn't survive the penitentiary. I don't care if you was on the streets 20, 30 years as a drug addict. You know what I mean? Selling yourself, doing whatever it is you was doing. It don't matter. Whatever it was, man, you survived that. Wear that like a badge of honor. Everybody didn't make it off them streets. Everybody can't come back from that emotionally. Everybody can't come back from that spiritually. Everybody can't come for that. Um, come back from that physically. You did. Pat yourself on the back and man, blow yourself a kiss. You you survived it. Make that work for you. Don't be embarrassed about it. Make it work for you. Make it work for you. And what I mean, wait, make it work for you. Man, use that to your benefit. Use that to your benefit. And not just to your benefit. Use it for the benefit of humanity. Flip that. Use that to build up other people. Use that to, to encourage and inspire and motivate and challenge other people. Use that to show other people that, man, if I survived this, if I went through this, then you could survive what you're going through. Use your scars for the betterment of humanity. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.